Hi, I'm Nate Bernath from William Vaughn Company, and uh, I'm back. So uh, that just means that it didn't go horribly the first time around. Good news. Let's talk a little bit about restaurants, right? So I think with this QIP change, and, and most others would agree that restaurants uh, could benefit you know, very greatly from this. Why? Because several restaurants with these franchise agreements, right, are required to refresh their what? Their non-residential uh, property uh, on a regular basis. And so this qualified improvement property classification is perfect for them. It allows you to use bonus uh, depreciation and get those deductions up front. Now, you should still watch. I would encourage you to still watch your state depreciation, right? Because bonus depreciation, you still have that add back for state purposes, or you could. So, so again, it doesn't completely get you off the hook, but from a federal standpoint, it really drives a lot of deductions uh, forward. And then what you might say is, okay, you know, I've also got a restaurant remodel, refresh, safe harbor in place. Well, that's fine. And the, the remodel, refresh, safe harbor is another great topic uh, that I'm sure we already have a blog on and we can probably even do a video on. Uh, but, but again, that's a topic for another day. But if you have that in place, I would encourage you, just reach out to your representative. Uh, and again, we have some tools on our website as well to help. But you can um, utilize the QIP in conjunction with your uh, restaurant remodel safe harbor, okay? Because, because what you want is to get the best of both worlds. In this case, you can get a little bit. Uh, you, you have to be careful on classifications. Uh, I'm not saying you don't have to be careful, but you do have to coordinate those two things because um, I hope you're taking advantage of that restaurant remodel safe harbor as well. So, uh, so that's a big deal. So, and, and, and then when you're, when you're doing your improvements to your restaurant, you, you're probably saying, well, the refresh structurally really didn't change anything. The building still sound, all those things. Well, great. Then we're going to qualify much of that refresh to QIP and uh, get it to 15 years, take the bonus and take the immediate write off. Uh, and what it becomes is, you know, I, I absolutely love food. And pretty much if you serve it, I'll eat it, right? Well, this is more of a, you build it, we'll deduct it scenario. And I'd like to say William Vaughn is the only one deducting it, but no, it's the, it's Congress and the, and the IRS that have uh, now fixed this glitch. So they have allowed us to deduct it, but that's what it is. You build it, we'll deduct it. And it's nice they have that benefit out there. So, Again, uh, in closing, I uh, thank you for sharing a couple minutes with me. Uh, this, this QIP change is a welcome change. Uh, it's, it's something that puts this improvement property in a bonus depreciation bucket that everyone was looking for. Uh, it allows those folks with restaurants, especially uh, to move forward with the improvements that perhaps they were holding off on. Why? Because I won't be able to deduct that over 39 years. Man, uh, to be blunt, that's horrible. So, so again, much of those projects can move forward uh, and they can move forward in a time when the commercial real estate market is probably needing it the most. And um, it's something that will bring at least tax benefits to the table. So uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. And uh, we'll see you the next time uh, if you keep viewing these. And not sure why you would, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks again.